in Texas, we go back to school to explore the world of six-man football. And we saddle up for Hong Kong Racing's QE2 Cup. Marcel Kitter, one of cycling's foremost sprinters. Since turning pro three years ago, the team giant Shimano rider has accumulated 48 stage victories, including four of last year's Tour de France. The 25-year-old speed and style marked him out as one of the most exciting riders on the UCI World Tour. Transworld Sport journeyed to Germany recently to meet up with him. Kittel was inspired to take up the sport by his father, who was himself a talented cyclist. Although he started out mountain biking, it wasn't long before Marcel made the switch to road racing. His talent on the two wheels was evident. At age 16, he moved to Erfurt from his hometown of Anschluss to further his career. With energy and sport, I decided to go to a specialist sports school to take advantage of the best possible training facilities. And this was a really important move for me. I've been living in airports ever since, and I'm very happy here. Airport is the capital of Thuringia State, and is located at the geographical center of northern Germany. This region has produced a high proportion of the country's Winter Olympic champions, including the most successful speed skater of all time, Gunda Niemann Schwernemann. Airport is also home to the world's oldest operational velodrome and is widely regarded as the epicenter of German cycling. Kittel's teammate John Degenkolb and time trial world champion Tony Martin both honed their skills in the city. Of course I learned to ride on the track, but I would have to say that I never had a big career there, because I was always focused much more on the roads rather than the track. However, I do think it's important that every pro cyclist should experience the cut and thrust of track cycling. You can learn a lot about strategy and tactics, and so I would say that it's a good thing to have ridden in that environment, even if your ultimate goal is not to become a great track cyclist. Marcel spent his formative years training and racing alongside Max and Sebastian May. All three attended Airfoot Sports School and competed together in road races around the world up to under 23 level. Well, I think we all knew he was talented and that one day he'd become a top rider. But what surprised everyone was how fast that happened. He joined a professional team as the leading rider and just two days later, he won his first race. And then, in his first year, he won at the Vuelta, and then at the Tour, which of course was phenomenal. He's very down to earth. That's his defining quality. He hasn't become arrogant as a result of his success. He's proud of where he comes from, and focuses on his friends and family here. 